Hello there! Today I wanted to show a couple building techniques that might help you in some online matches with force. Um, as you can see we have two very similar builds here. Uh, the base fort is the same, this one is just connected. Uh, the two techniques are uh, spining and spacing. Let's start with spining. Here we have three structures one made with the usual boxes, one made with, with a full spine and one is a spine that lost its walls. Uh, let's add weight to the, the left, to the two leftmost. Nope. Thank you. As you can see this one is already way less wobbly than the other one. And this... Nope. I said nope. This should suffice. Okay, the, the right one has a little more weight. Um, the, the square structures you would normally see in a match, it will just fall after losing one piece of wood. The, this thing is neither can do. Even a machine gun is enough to do that. On the other hand, this structure will not fall if it loses this. It will not fall if it loses this either. Okay, maybe it will. Yeah, it did. Okay. Still, it could stand a bit more losses. And if the weight isn't over exaggerated, bear in mind that the previous two examples were, were way too much tall for a fort's normal fort. And this was one. This one is way more realistic, and with it's still a lot. Um, it still has a lot of weight on top. Uh, if we remove this, I'm confident it will not fall, and I'm confident that even if I remove these, it won't fall. And even if I remove these, it won't fall. If I remove these, it might not fall. Indeed, it's not falling. Problem is if I remove these, but it would already take a lot of more time to destroy this. And let's not forget that this is more weight than usual. Now this was spine part, uh, spining part one. We will go back to spining later. Uh, let's now talk about spacing, which is different from spining, of course. Um, I might want a nuke to do that. Give me a nuke. Uh, give me a nuke to play or two as well. Okay. And give me a sniper. Sniper. And play one. Sniper. So what happens normally? No, I didn't intend to do that. Okay, still fine. What happens normally if you hit a base on its bottom side? I said the bottom side. I think this is too much close. Okay, I should have done it just with a cannon. Okay, that's it. It's going to bring most of the base down with it. That's what I wanted to show, just ignore the nuke part. It, it wasn't part of the script and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, as you can see, this player just lost, lost half of his base. I think I can use nukes now. Um, the problem is... Uh, when you play in um, multiplayer in maps like uh, how is it called the um, battleships when you play in battleships and your fort tendentially has a lot of weight on top a really a lot of weight on top and it's very big all connected you risk of making it fall like that, it's 
next shot should show it. Let me add more weight here, just show it better. Should be enough, it's not enough. It's not enough. Here, I said higher. Why are you shooting so low? Okay. And it's bringing the base with it. That's what I wanted to show. Sorry, it took a while, but that's what I wanted to show. On the other hand, with spacing, which is simply the act of leaving a space between... Leaving space between sections of your base. If one section falls, there you go, the rest of the base is still alive. So when you play on battleships, oh my gosh, what? Why am I building with metal? Um, when you join a battleships match, the thing I, sh I advise a player, a player of the team to do, like at, at the very beginning. Is between the sections just drill a hole like that it's easy it doesn't take long you don't need all that space to build because battleship uh, battleship bases are already huge enough and if this section falls this other section will stand that's the point uh, so in battleships uh, let's let's imagine this is scaled down version of battleships uh, where you have these middle section that goes higher front section and then on the back you would place turbines let's say this is a turbine placement and you have cores um, here here and, and down here one thing I would suggest is delete these so when the enemy drills on the front you will just lose the front and if the middle falls you will just lose the middle it will not drag the rest of the base with it that's the point now let's go back to the okay. so this is spacing really easy concept just dig a hole that that's it really not not much more and now I want to, s to show how you do spine in a short time. First of all, you do these V uh, structures on bottom. These already many players do. Then you click on a node, you get your mouse, it automatically should highlight the diagonal structure you just built. Hold and drag up. Now go to the node and keep doing this. And that's how, oh my gosh. And that's how you make, if you're not, bad like me right now that's how you make spine and normally uh, when I'm not recording and I perform better it doesn't take that long uh, when you build spine always do it with background bracing even if there is uh, nothing just do it with background bracing because it saves it from being destroyed by laser and cannon and it will still be viable to hold the upward structure and now quite soon we will see that uh, cannons and lasers will chew through the vertical structures but the spine will hold the entire base in place uh, one more thing you can do um, for their investment it's not always worth doing if you click on this node select this now uh, this section here is not part of the rest of the fort so it will not uh, normally you cannot, um, for instance, I cannot place a wall that goes from here to here. But since this starts from the ground and is not connected, oh my gosh, and is not connected to the rest, you can do it. And it will build the horizontal um, structure as well. This is the extreme spining of things. Um, it's quite hard, harder to to get the right structure exactly, but when you do it, it will, it's worth it. Okay, this is extreme spining. This is normal spining. And now I'm pretty confident that this structure can handle. Well, oh, 
a lot of damage. Let me build uh, this. And laser attack. And laser. Let's start with cannons because. Uh, okay. Now remember the other base went down with a single cannon shot, the uh, this section in front here. And if my aim isn't bad, this one stands no problem. Uh, even if I get, even if I dig a lot through it, I mean that that's a lot of damage. Here we go. It is still standing, and that's all because of the um, of the spining. If there wasn't a spining, which is these free nodes, these free nodes are holding our base. That's what happens with our spining. There you go. And here you have seen again spacing at work because since I've deleted all the structure that was in middle here, the rest of the base is still safe. Now. Against laser spining is less ideal, mainly because you have lots of material that is set on fire and you will have to focus a lot on extinguishing that fire. But it still uh, helps supporting the structure. Let's go up here. As you can see, there, there is a lot of free weight around here. Okay, there it is. And there it is. Uh, that was a lot of laser hits for something that doesn't have shields, honestly. Um, well, that's all I wanted to show, so uh, spining and spacing. Spacing mainly in huge forts and spining when you have, when you have lots of weight or concentrated AoE fire. Uh, now, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Sorry, I just wanted to do it. I had to do it. <laughs>